Hello, my name is Mark Rice of Cutter Networks. I'd like to speak with you today briefly about the RAD Tiny Bridge 100. What is a Tiny Bridge 100 and where do we use it and what does it look like? Well, a Tiny Bridge 100, there's basically two different variations of it. The first one is used to extend Ethernet over serial communications connections. In other words, you might have a modem, let's say, that has an RS-232 connection and you want to extend Ethernet and bridge it from point to point uh, over that modem. The Tiny Bridge will allow you to do that. Or you might have a multiplexer that has multiple ports on it. And let's say you have a separate LAN you want to bridge across it and you have an unused V35 interface, the Tiny Bridge would allow you to utilize that. Or perhaps you have a satellite modem in a point-to-point -point application. Or perhaps you have an encoder of some type that has a serial 530 interface. There's lots of reasons that you will want to transmit Ethernet in a bridging application point-to-point -point using a serial connection. The other application for a Tiny Bridge 100 is to utilize the four-wire version. Now the four-wire version allows you to extend Ethernet beyond the normal 100 meter confines of Ethernet. In other words, let's say you have a, a warehouse or a manufacturing facility and that facility has a main office and you have Ethernet, you have a LAN in there, standard, all kinds of switches and things. But in the back of this building, back beyond 100 meters, you have a shop and you want to get Ethernet connectivity back there. Or perhaps you have some machinery. You know, more and more machines today have Ethernet connections of some type. And it isn't that they're using a lot of bandwidth, but they have information that you need to pass back to the main system. How do you do that? How do you extend it? Well, you, you could use several switches and put switches along the way to regenerate signal. That would be one way to do it. But now you have issues such as providing power to those switches at the interim points and all kinds of things. The Tiny Bridge is a much simpler solution. The Tiny Bridge 100 four-wire version will allow you to extend Ethernet up to 500 meters over four-wire copper. In fact, there's a way to extend it even further than that if you can accept a lower data rate. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, it's a very simple device. I have in my hand a Tiny Bridge, uh, 530, Tiny Bridge 100 530 model. This, as you'll see, has a DB25 R, um, RS530 connection on this end. Over here we have a RJ45 standard Ethernet connection. This is an auto-negotiating -negoti plug. It's 10100. Um, there's a couple dip switches here. We'll talk about that in just a moment. And then you have a connection for power. It does use external power. It uses a brick. You see these bricks on all kinds of things. Basically, the device itself is 5 volt DC. However, this is an AC brick that gives you that power. There's also some dip switches here. Now, for the most part, this device is plug and play. But there are times where you need to do something different. For example, maybe you don't want this port to auto-negotiate. Maybe you want it to be locked in at, at 10 megs or at 100 meg connection because of other considerations on your network. There's a dip switch here where you can make that happen. Or perhaps you want to go beyond with a four-wire version. Uh, you may want to go beyond the uh, beyond the normal 500 meter range. You want to reach out as far as perhaps even 600, 700 meters, drop that data rate down to 5 megs across the WAN link, and there's a dip switch to it to accept that. Normally the WAN connection speed, keep in mind that regardless of the interface here, whether it's 10 base T or 100 base T that you're connecting to it, your WAN connection itself is limited to 10 megs. Um, it's a very simple device, as I said. If you had a four-wired connection here, you would have a terminal block here instead of this serial connection. If you had a V35 serial, you'd have a little adapter here that would, you'd, would come with it that would allow you to make that physical connection. Um, very reliable device. Been around for quite some time. We sell plenty of them. You know, if you have a question about them and you think that the Red Tiny Bridge 100 might be right for you or want to discuss your application, I hope you'll give me a call at Cutter Networks. My name is Mark Rice. I'm at 727-398-5252. I look forward to speaking with you and I hope you have a wonderful day.